Sinn Féin is absolutely opposed to taxing the family home and in government we will repeal this draconian and blatantly unfair tax. The idea of taxing the family home is by any stretch of the imagination bad economic policy. In the current climate where almost half a million people are out of work and one in four mortgages is in distress, this tax makes no sense. Indeed, this tax is further evidence of the lengths that Fine Gael and Labour and Fianna Fáil before them will go to in order to keep their monetary masters in the ECB and the IMF happy. The real import of this tax is that it imposes even more hardship on ordinary people who are already stretched to the limits of their financial capabilities. The policies of austerity and the neoliberal political project that accompanies it have destroyed the econo economic and social fabric of this country. And how does this government respond? With even more savage cuts to welfare, cuts to mobility allowances, cuts in home help hours, cuts to youth services in already disadvantaged areas, cuts to special needs assistance and cuts to vital educational services for traveller education that already experience institutional discrimination. We are now in a situation where the policies of austerity, so beloved by this government, mean that we have an entire public service, be it health, public housing, transport and education, that is being dismantled at a time when now more than ever ordinary people depend on the state for the provision of public goods and services. A state that cannot provide for its own people, that cannot and will not invest in its own society, is by any standards a failed state. This government have led us down a cul-de-sac and only a dramatic shift in policy will alter this situation. Yet we are told repeatedly that there are no options, that banks have to be bailed out and that austerity is the only show in town in terms of economic recovery. Sinn Féin rejects this flawed analysis as do the vast majority of people in Ireland and right across Europe. There are alternatives. It doesn't have to be like this. But this would mean putting the people first and making political decisions that this government that operates in the interest of the wealthy and the business classes has repeatedly refused to take. For example, by just clamping down on black market and false declarations, the government could raise 100 million. A 1% tax on wealth over 1 million would raise 800 million. The government could, if it wanted to, apply PRSI to rental income, and this alone would raise 20 million for the exchequer. A 5% tax on shop, course and online gambling would raise a further 243.5 million. In terms of education, Fine Gael and Labour could raise 22 million over a five-year period by simply bringing an end to the state subsidy of private education. It is not right, nor is it just, nor fair, that the state is propping up an elitist system with public money that is urgently needed for children in state schools. In terms of health, the government could and should apply the full cost of private care in public hospitals. This would produce a savings of 432.5 million. It could deliver further savings by implementing generic substitution of branded medicines. The list goes on and on. It could cap government salaries at 100,000, cap the pay of hospital consultants and introduce an emergency pay cap of 100,000 in the civil and public service for three years. Thank you. This alone would produce a saving of 22 million. But all of this requires political will and a genuine belief in the value of your own people and your own society. More importantly, it requires a commitment to the health and well-being of all the people, not just the wealthy and the influential classes. It means that you can have a genuine interest in the future prosperity of the young people who today have no other option but to emigrate to in their thousands to Australia and Canada. In the final analysis, Sorry, it means Deputy putting Will Ireland's interests before the interests of faceless European bureaucrats in a pampered and well-connected homegrown business class. Fine Gael can blather on all they like about Sinn Féin in government instalment, an entity which does not control its own purse strings. But the fact remains that the policies of this government are wreaking havoc on the lives and futures of people in every corner of the country.